I read most of your book, Mr. Grabler, and sure enough, you write about many of the same issues that we at the DOJ are trying to address. Mm, thank you. You know, there's an old joke that uh, inside of every old cop is a book, and that's exactly where it should stay. <laughs> Well, you certainly wrote from experience. Oh, I did, I did. I came on in 72, uh, walking foot from the Northwest, and then uh, plainclothes ops, after that narcotics, and I did my longest stint in homicide. After my retirement, I ended up back here at the academy teaching. Sounds like a rewarding career. It was, it was. I loved being a cop. I loved it when the job meant something, when you could make an arrest for a street robbery or a rapist or put down a murder. There was nothing finer, nothing finer. But people had to talk to you, and once upon a time they did. Well, of course, not all of them. There was a street code for snitching, but there were always enough people on the post that would talk to you. That trust is broken. Yeah, well, you can't, you can't get information out of somebody while you're beating on them or you got your hand in their pocket. And then lying about it in court. Yeah. You know, Everything changed when they came up with that expression, the war on drugs. What an idiotic fucking thing to say. What the hell is a war on drugs? What does that mean? Waging a war against citizens. It, it, by definition, it's separating us into two opposing camps. The colonizer and the colonized. Ah, Albert Memmi, very good, yes. And with the war comes police militarization, SWAT teams, tactical squads, stop and frisk, strip searches, a complete gutting of the Fourth Amendment. It was like we're, we're fighting terrorists on foreign soil. Mm. And you can't just blame the cops. We serve the politicians who thrive on being tough on crime. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. Quality of life arrest. Having a beer on your own stoop. Uh, loitering, spitting on the sidewalk. Existing, existing. In 2005, I think it was, when O'Malley was still mayor, they made 100,000 arrests, most of them black, most of them poor. That's almost one arrest for every six Baltimoreans in one year. They jacked up people six, seven times, maybe 12 times, and many of those arrests were illegal, never made it to court, but they got their stats. What do you teach here? I teach the law to cadets who are about to hit the streets. Fourth, Fifth, and Sixth Amendments. A cop can't uphold the law unless he understands the law. I teach these young kids to be good, honest cops. The rest is up to them. You've given a lot of thought to this. Yeah. I come off as angry sometimes. Aren't you angry?